Hey everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, currently just got back home from visiting my parents and niece and everything uh, up north. So if you wanted to see some of the social media posts, uh, I guess it'll probably be too late because a lot of it I just posted on my story on Snapchat as well as Instagram. But if you want to see more personal stuff, uh, that's a good place to, to see that. I'll post stuff on there from time to time. Uh, usually I don't post too much on those stories, but if you ever want to see a picture of my niece or dogs or something like that, or my parents' dogs, I should say, um, that's the place to go for that sort of thing. I don't share too much of that on YouTube since it's more focused on my lifting. But anywho, so this workout that you're watching here, this is a, a max out day where I had some good moments. Uh, I was generally happy with how my mechanics felt on both my snatches and my clean and jerks. A big negative is the increasing bicep tendonitis. Uh, it's slowly impacting what I'm doing. Well, my legs are doing relatively well, but my bicep is starting to be a bit nagging. I will, or I think I will be able to finish out the five week cycle before I have my deload, but if it gets worse, then I'll have to limit my pressing as I finish up. Uh, starting out with the snatches, my shoulders uh, being fatigued and weak limited the weight that I was able to get. To, uh, able to get. Uh, I took two tries at 225 and missed them both. I think I'm getting close to be able to get this weight on a consistent basis. Uh, my early extension, you know, opening my hips early, is a big factor limiting me from hitting this weight on a consistent basis. I panic and then I um, extend early instead of waiting and pulling in a more efficient manner. As my form improves and my technique makes improvements, I should be able to hit bigger and bigger weights. Uh, my bicep didn't bother me particularly on this day where it limited me in anything, but my shoulders did feel uh, weak when I was catching these snatches. Bicep is just kind of something that's starting to be more and more of a, a thing but it was more of my shoulders that they limited me than anything with um, my bicep. Although, you know, it didn't feel great. Uh, clean jerks went pretty well. Uh, my best single I hit was uh, 290 pounds. I tried 300, which would have been a PR, but I don't have enough strength in me to do it right now, uh, or technique. Uh, it's nice to be able to try this weight on a consistent basis. Uh, I want my jerk to improve so I'm able to get stronger, and I need to get stronger for that to happen. I also need to continue hammering my form on them to improve them for where they are now. As my jerk improves, the, the number should go up, my technique on the jerk, and obviously as I get stronger, that will go up regardless. Uh, after doing these maxes, I did deadlifts, and deadlifts went really well. Uh, one thing I want to work on from the deadlifts and all my pulling is getting my back tight before I start pulling. I think this will protect my back a bit and put myself in a better position to pull from. I notice when I get my back tight before I start pulling deadlifts, uh, they look a bit easier. Pulls are a uh, strength for me, but there are still things that can make them go better. So after uh, deadlifts, I did uh, a bunch of other pressing work because I was annoyed with how my shoulders felt when I was doing snatches. So my uh, solution to that was just to hammer the <laughs> hammer my soldier soldier shoulders for the rest of my workout. Uh, I think some of the movements will be beneficial to do uh, and have them added in, but I did too much, which is probably contributing uh, to my current bicep being uh, a little bit achy. Because if I press too much, that's kind of where that tendonitis ish feeling um, comes from. Overall, it was a uh, pretty productive workout besides me doing a bit too much at the end. Uh, I hope to be smarter next week and to continually improve my form on the various lifts. I have to be very cautious about the amount of volume that I do because my personality is like, I'll just do all of the exercises. I'll do all of the lifts. I'll do all of the volume. Um, maxes, you know, I'm good at like, all right, that was a good single. I'll stop there. But like volume, I'll just lift all day long and it's not, it's not good for my uh, long-term success. Uh, in the sport and in the movements. And it's something that I have to get a little better at. Uh, and as my technique improves and I become more consistent in my lifts and I'll become less frustrated and have these moments where I'm doing a lot of extra pressing. Um, but it's also part of my personality that I have to deal with. And you know, it's not, not a, there could be a lot more negative ways that I could handle things. I just go and do more lifts. Uh, I just have to be cautious that if I'm having you know the tendonized feeling or something that it's not flaring up to any sort of extreme extent. Um, but that's really about it that I wanted to talk about for this workout. What you're seeing now is just a bunch of the extra pressing work that I did. So that will play for the um, rest of the workout. You have some snatch grip pressing and I did some narrow stance overhead squats and jerks and stuff like that. Just a bunch of light work, um, but certainly not stuff that's gonna make uh, a tendonitis feeling that's exacerbated by pressing feel better by doing more pressing so i had to be smart about that but um hopefully i will be next week at worst i'll do all my squats and have to limit my pressing but we'll see how that goes 
And uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you all in the next one. I hope you all enjoy this commentary, and I hope you're all having a great day. Peace. What the heck?